Good morning. I've taken that little furnace that I did. Uh, the one was just a piece of pipe. And I put together a prototype micro mini furnace. Uh, welded on a couple of adapters to hold the torches. One at about the center point of the firebox and one up at the top. I think I'm going to make a set of custom molds for this. Gravity molds and open pore molds. Uh, let me swing the camera around and I'll show you what I've done. I took it from a piece of pipe and changed it into a piece of pipe with a lid. And, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit here. Okay. Uh, the lid I've gone ahead and uh, cast this it's conical in shape. It's it's a lot bigger at the bottom uh, than it is at the exit port. Then the furnace that's two layers of rigidized KO wool quarter inch. Then I've got the remnants of my BZ eighty two fifty HT torch it it does a good job uh, the lid just fits on the top and I mean it it greatly amplifies the heat uh, okay I got the torch on low fire and I'm gonna get it set up in there I just put the nozzle just just behind the KO wool so it's not sticking into the firebox. I mean, you can see <coughs> the KO wool is already glowing yellow. <coughs> excuse me, yellow right where the flame is touching it. Okay, for the lack of building tongs for this yet, I'm gonna take the crucible and I'm setting it pretty much right in the directly in front of the path of the flame and then I'm gonna drop my lid on there I'll try and get into where you can see what I got going there I'm gonna move forward just to here Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out while I button this thing up. Okay, the lid just fits on top. And then we're gonna put this into serious mode.
let me zoom out here. She's poured into the mold and of course that mold's way bigger. But uh, I mean it don't take long in here. It does not take long at all. Anyway, this is a went from a piece of pipe to a little furnace. Okay, I've loaded up one of my little gravity molds. I'm gonna make some molds that are a little shorter just to suit this little furnace that's got the silver flake on top of it. I moved the torch up to the top hole, the high port, to get up to where the silver chamber is. And now I'm gonna give the torch a light and We'll see how long this takes for that silver to melt and pour an ingot. Snug that up. We'll see what we get. So that's a big chunk of graphite, so it's not going to be as quick as the little crucible. It's not quite cool yet. I want to examine it for see how much abrasion.